Studio owners, stick around. In this video, we are gonna talk about offer cycles that maximize your lead generation. Hi everyone, I'm McKenna, I'm the creative manager, and today I'm joined with Lieutenant Patrick. Someone give me some trumpets, someone give me some music. I feel like I need to sing the American anthem. You get one bad haircut. <laughs> And the team just won't let you live it down. I just feel like I constantly have to salute you, but thanks for joining us. And uh, today we're talking about uh, offer cycles. And if you guys don't know, before we dive in, uh, Loudermer is a premier consulting and marketing agency specifically for fitness studios. So if you want to learn more about us, um, you can jump on a free strategy call with one of our member success consultants. Just learn more about us, we'll learn more about you. So check out that link in the description below. So Patrick, what are offer cycles and how does it relate to studio owners? Yeah, so in terms of marketing and advertising, you wanna make sure that you have offers that you can cycle through on a yearly basis, a quarterly basis, potentially a monthly basis. You know, this isn't e-commerce marketing. We don't have to have offer cycles for every single holiday that there is uh, mm -hmm. going on, right? Um, we just wanna make sure that at some point if our advertising, right, the offer that we're putting out to generate leads is not performing well, we wanna have offers backed up and ready to go so that we can launch them as soon as that, you know, campaign saturates. What's like a good time to change up the offers for studios? Is there a certain amount or is it like just when it runs dry? Yeah, I mean, this is marketing at the end of the day, right? So I'm not gonna sit in here and say that, you know, each quarter we should change our advertising campaign to generate new business. Because if it's working well, I don't wanna change anything, right? So if I have an offer that's a, a $10 for 10 days and I'm running it, I'm seeing a lot of success, you know, just because back to school's coming up, I'm not necessarily gonna change everything I'm doing to push back to school if my 10 for 10 is still working, I'm gonna wait until my offer has saturated. Now, let's say you're running a free week offer and it's starting not to perform as well. Before you change the offer completely, think about how you can reposition the message of that offer, right? Maybe mm. we don't call it a free week anymore. Maybe we switch it to a seven day pass, test that for a few days or a few weeks, see how it performs and if it doesn't perform well, okay, well we know the free week or the seven day pass isn't necessarily doing as well as we want. Offer saturate, that's the nature of marketing and advertising. It's time to switch our offer. We actually had a question come in on YouTube that the question was, should we run two offers at the same time? So a paid offer and a free offer, even if our staff knows which one to talk to? No, I mean, that's just creating confusion in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. You might be okay with it. Again, this is marketing. At the end of the day, you have to test everything. There's nothing that's you know black and white. It's, it's about testing but I wouldn't recommend that because especially with a fitness studio, they don't have a, a big enough budget in a, a large enough size, right? In terms of a demographic, this is hyper-localized marketing. This isn't nationwide or worldwide. So the, the, the demographic's not there, the audience size isn't there, and um, the marketing spend probably isn't there. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense because now you're just competing with your offers, there's confusion in the marketplace. So just keep it as simple as possible, focus on one offer. Do you have any tips for uh, offers that studios should be using in their ads? What's the most value that you can give away as a business without impacting your bottom line, right? Making sure you can get a return on that investment in some capacity. This is direct response marketing. I say it all the time. The biggest lever that you can push to see results in your campaigns is how good your offer is, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe it's a free week. That's all you're willing to give away. Okay, test it, see how it works. But maybe you can do a free week with um, a body composition analysis, right? Great, that's a stacking value. But on top of that, can you also give a nutrition consultation? Can you give X, Y, it doesn't matter. Can you stack as much valuable on that offer to drive a high incentive for that person to opt in and take action? Because direct response marketing, these people aren't on the platforms to take advantage of your offer or trial your gym or um, you know, become a member of yours. They're on these platforms because they're engaging with social media and engaging with their friends and they're stalking their exes or whatever it may be, <laughs> but it's not there for you. So if you want their attention, you want them to opt in, give as much way as possible that it's not gonna break the bank or run you out of business. Right, and can we speak to the difference in the sales process when you offer a free week versus you know a 30 for 30? What, what does that look like for the studio owners and their staff on the sales process? I mean, to me, it's the same. It's no different. I'm signing them up that first day. The offer is what brought them in the door, but I, you know, I wanna understand what are their goals? What are their whys? What drives them, right? And once I know those things, I can bridge the gap between you know what they want, why they want it, and how I'm gonna help them achieve that. So there's no difference of uh, in sales process. I'm signing them up that first day. Like I, I'm, I'm not waiting a week, I'm not waiting you know, 30 days. But let's say they don't take advantage of the offer in that first sign up, that's okay. What's most important in that case is that we're getting them scheduled 
into their next class. It doesn't matter if it's free, it doesn't matter if it's 30 for 30, whatever it is, I'm nurturing that person along the process because they've told me what their goals are. I know how many days they need to be in to achieve those goals, right? And what's gonna happen after the first workout? They're gonna be sore. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So most likely they're not gonna come in the next day and, th and th that's okay. But so long as the staff is being on top of it and scheduling that individual for their next class, mm -hmm. right? And the next class and the next class. And at some point you got to make the sale, but in terms of the presentation, regardless of the offer, I'm doing it on day, that day one. one. Yeah. So do you think lead quality changes by offer? I mean, that's a fair question. You could, you could say that someone who, you know, puts down $10 or $30 is a little bit more invested. To me personally, I think there's there's some type of threshold, right? For example, I've done a challenge where I paid a, a $100 and I didn't, I didn't follow through. Like I had skin in the game, but I didn't do my thing, right? I didn't, right. I didn't do what I was supposed to do to be successful. But you tell me like, if I put $1,000 in, like yeah. I, I'm invested. <laughs> so I think there's some type of threshold. There's something to it without a doubt, but I feel like there's some type of threshold. Funny that you say that though, cause you know, you spent $100 and you totally wiped off. I spent $10 and I signed up for a membership. And that, you know, that's a good point. That's like, go back to your ideal member. Yeah. Create your offer, create your advertising campaigns, create your strategy, create your whatever for marketing and advertising based on your member avatar. Yeah. Which, by the way, we have a cheat sheet for. Click the link in the description below. So I pulled it up. <laughs> um, but what I, w I did take from your little spiel there was lifetime customer value and uh, acquisition cost. I think a lot of people talk about, what's my cost per lead, what's my cost per lead? Why does that not matter? And why should they be focusing on their lifetime value and their customer acquisition cost? This is gonna sound rich coming from a guy that works at an advertising <laughs> agency, but your cost per lead doesn't, doesn't really matter. Yes. It's, it's not an indicator of success. The only time your cost per lead becomes an indicator of success is when you know what you can afford to spend on a new member and do so profitably. Yeah. Outside of that, I can go into campaign, I can look at my acquisition, or excuse me, my cost per lead, it tells me nothing. Right. Other than this is what it cost me per lead. I need to understand what my, like, uh, better metrics to look at in your campaign outside of cost per lead is like, okay, what is my conversion rate? The meaning of the people that saw my ad, how many went to the landing page, and of those that went to the landing page or a form, whatever it is, how many converted, which is my conversion rate. Like, that will tell me more to be better able to optimize a campaign than CPL would. If CPL just tells me that that's the CPL. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good points. And actually Patrick talks a lot about this at our GSD con conferences. So if you want to learn more about this and you can really dive into it with like showing actual numbers on screen, going through it, helping our studio owners individually at these conferences, uh, go to gsdcon.com just to learn more about our next event, or you can just click the link. There's a quick link for you in the description below. Any final thoughts, wisdom and uh, encouragement you want to share to the viewers? Test, 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 test. This is marketing, this is advertising. The digital landscape has changed dramatically over the course of the past two years. Mm -hmm. So test, don't just test Facebook, test Instagram and test YouTube and test Google. Lieutenant Patrick, thank you for joining us today. Uh, and if you guys like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this one.